everyone. Welcome back to My Colourful Country Life. Today I have a new to me, a book I want to show you guys. So this book is new to me, but it is not a new book. It was originally published in 2018 by Page Street Publishing. I actually hadn't heard of these books before until Kylie, one of the lovely admin in my Facebook group, purchased a copy and sent me a picture and then I had to have it myself. Um, I have only just recently started working with watercolours and I've just done a collaboration probably a month or so ago now with Etcher Studios. You may have seen this already on my Instagram. So I completed their eight part watercolour for beginners course. That taught me a lot and um, I was really impressed with the images that we got to create in each lesson. So if you're interested in checking out that course um, and learning more about watercolors, head on over to my Instagram at my colorful country life. You'll find an IGTV video there, which I think might be accessible on my grid or head to the story highlights. And um, there is a video that just explains in more details what you can learn. And um, you can also see what I created from the course as well. If anyone is interested, um, Etcher Studios have also given me a discount code for any Anyone that would like to check it out so just use the code at my oh, just use the code my colorful country life with a u in colorful just like my channel name and that will get you 50 percent off the course i can put the links to the courses down below um, and anyone who is interested can go and check it out now back to this book this is called watercolor with me in the forest and it's by dana fox this is her first book in the Watercolour With Me series. See, she has since brought out um, Watercolour With Me in the Ocean and also Watercolour With Me in the Jungle. Um, there's a little blurb on the back that I'd like to read out to you guys. So it says, unleash your creativity with 50 no sketch watercolour projects. From a classic dogwood rose to a sly fox to feathers that take on a dreamy quality. You can create polished artwork in just a few easy steps. No sketching required. Dana Fox, creator of Wonder Forest, and Wonder Forest is actually her YouTube uh, name and I think also her Instagram channel as well um, is Wonder Forest. So Dana Fox is known for her unique and whimsical sense of style and her popular watercolour workshops have introduced thousands to the joys of painting. In Watercolour With Me in the Forest, Dana provides light outlines of each project and every page is printed on premium art paper. So you can focus on the watercolour techniques, wet on dry, wet on wet, painting fur and ink and wash. Even if you've never picked up a paintbrush before, Dana's creative tricks will ensure that every piece of art is frame worthy. Whether you're looking to try a new style, learn the basics or find a new way to distress, the step-by-step -step guide makes it easier than ever to create stunning art. So the book is just over 23 by 23 centimetres square. It is super thick, as you can see, um, 1.87 centimetres thick to be exact. And that is courtesy of the wonderful thick watercolour paper that has been used. And it is also stitch bound. So let's have a quick look inside now. Okay. We have um, a beautiful title page, which is painted in beautiful nature colors. Um, publishing information. So first up, we have the introduction for the different projects and they're sorted in sections by technique. So we have wet on dry, wet on wet, painting fur and ink and wash. And then it just lists all the different forest animals and flowers that we can work on. And now we have the introduction and that says watercolor with me in the forest is a watercolor project book that allows you to create beautiful artwork and learn a little something as you do it. It was designed to let your creativity shine through while making the idea of watercolor painting a little less terrifying for beginners. This book will guide you step by step through creating each of the paintings shown. On the left, you'll see a faint sketch of the image. On the right, you will find the tips, instructions, color palettes and tools required to complete the artwork. The projects are broken up into four main sections. 
Wet on dry, wet on wet, painting fur, ink and wash. You'll be able to learn about these techniques before you start painting so you can confidently put that brush to paper. And then we have a list of the supplies that you'll need. Round watercolour brushes, sizes two to six, a fine detail brush, watercolour paint, clean water, mixing palette, permanent ink pen, white gel pen and paper towels. Now I purchased a watercolour paint set by Ohuhu which has 36 different colours, got a bunch of brushes and also a workbook. I'll link that in the description box down below as that's what I've been using in this book so far. So the first section in this book is wet on dry. Um, we have the information on the technique and instructions down here. So then you can try, um, try out the technique on the opposite page here. The first project we have in the book are these acorns. Um, so we've got a reference picture here to base your painting off. We've got a little description of the, how you're going to create the, um, the painting and how to achieve the result. We've got a list of the colors here, um, a list of art supplies down below, and then our set of instructions. So on this opposite page here, we have a very light pre-sketch drawing, which is ready for you to start painting. So the next page is actually the one I decided to work on first. Um, this is the Caterpillar page and we have our reference photo here. It says caterpillars come in a variety of colors, so feel free to use whatever hues speak to you for this exercise. The black details can be done with ink instead of paint if you prefer. White accents can be added with a white pen or a more opaque paint such as acrylic or gouache. Then we've got a list of the colors, sap green, raw umber, ivory black and yellow ochre. Um, all of these were in the set of Ohuhu paints I mentioned, although ivory black was called something different, but it was just a normal black. Then we've got a list of the supplies. So we've got um, fine brush size two or three works well. Uh, four colors of paint, a blank, a black ink pen optional or a white gel pen optional. I didn't actually use a black ink pen or a white gel pen when I um, painted this. I just coloured everything using my watercolour paints. So we have our instructions listed next. The first instruction says start by filling in every other stripe with your main colour, in this case sap green. So every second stripe has the sap green. Um, once dry, paint the tree branch using raw umber and add a darker shade of raw umber mixed with ivory black under the caterpillar for a shadow. So it says once dry. Now mine dried pretty quickly. I guess it depends on how much water you are mixing your colors with. Um, that is something you can learn through the Etcher Studio course. If it isn't drying quickly enough for you though, uh, you can use a hairdryer, put it on the cold setting, make sure it is definitely the cold setting. Just hold it up, not too close to the paper and sort of wave it back and forth and it will dry fairly quickly, but it is really good quality paper, so it does um, dry fairly fast. Now, um, number three, using your yellow ochre, add dabs of the color to each blank stripe along the body. Uh, number four, once the yellow is dry, go in with a black ink pen or ivory black paint and fill the remaining areas beside the yellow spots to create the spotted stripes. Five, now you can add leaves to your tree branch Finish the feet with black, adding white highlights afterwards. Um, when I was first looking at this, I thought, oh, I don't know um, how easy it's going to be, but it was so simple and easy to follow. Um, so now the paper is beautiful and thick. There is minimal warping, as you can see, and there was no colour coming through to the back of the page. So I'm going to start flipping through now and show you all the other projects that are available.
So here we have a link to join Dana's watercolour workshops and also a little blurb about Dana and the links to find her on YouTube and Instagram as well. Lastly, we have an index which will direct you not only to the pages for the animals and the flowers, etc., but um, also the different techniques like uh, marbling technique, masking fluid, um, wet on dry, wet on wet, things like that, ink and wash. Um, okay, so that is the book Watercolour with Me by Dana Fox. Let me know what you think down below. I'll definitely be doing more projects in this book and I will be purchasing the other two in the series as well. I just found them really relaxing. There's nothing to think about um, in regards to colour choices, colour placements. It's all been done for you. Um, it's just something mindful that you can do while you're watching TV, something quite relaxing. Um, so if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Come join us over in the Facebook group. Also pop on over into uh, Instagram at My Colourful Country Life and join us over there as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.